JMac the Fanatic here, and I just made a video on my newly received custom Mark Price jersey. It was formerly a Chris Mills gamer, and I changed it to a Mark Price by removing the four and getting a five. Unfortunately, it, it did come with the Chris Mills signature. <laughs> so usually some people, you know, for some people that would be a good thing, comes with the signature, but I don't really like jerseys with the signatures, um, so I'm actually going to try to remove this. Now, uh, I'm, hopefully this is going to be a very short video. I know I always say that, but I mean it this time because <laughs> I'm going to skip ahead, all right? I'm not going to be able to hold the phone and do what I need to do anyway. Um, so the product I'm going to be using is this right here, okay? I have succeeded in removing one signature from a jersey um, with this product before. So I'm hoping it's going to work again. Now, the fact that it's not on the twill is very good because this can soak, hopefully, you know, right out through the mesh um, as opposed to the twill. That, that's going to be tougher to remove, I would say. So what I'm going to do here is place a towel, um, not underneath it, but under the first layer of it the reason i'm gonna do that you know is so that the the product doesn't go through um to what can happen is not the product i'm sorry but when the the marker comes out it could actually bleed through to the the next layer of the jersey and so you don't want that to happen you want it to bleed onto the towel um if anything okay so you do want that thing to come out though. What I'm gonna do here is uh, place this on there and then I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for a while, guys. This actually takes quite a while. You know what? I might actually wait like a few hours. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna wait here to film the rest of it. But afterwards, I'm gonna scrub it out in water Underwater, I'm going to scrub it out. So um, I'm putting a <laughs> quite a large amount of this. But now I'm just going to let it sit and soak in, guys. And then I'm going to um, try to scrub out. And I have had success in the past. We'll see what happens. To be continued. All right, so just want to show you this is where my jersey was laying. And the good news is the ink is coming out, but not enough. Here's what it looks like. It looks like it's fading a little bit more. I'm gonna keep scrubbing at it with this, this brush. And we'll see how far I can get. I'm probably gonna have to do this another time or two for it to fully, you know, or at least close to fully come out. So the first round Fight. may not take everything out. I'm gonna try to show you it's hard, it's impossible almost to do this with one hand. I'm gonna try to show you what I'm doing here. But it is coming out. So guys, I'm still scrubbing away at it. I have not added any more product. I think I'm definitely gonna need another round. I'll let it dry. I'm going to keep going a little bit more to scrub out a little bit more, but after that, I'll probably let it dry. And then tomorrow, I'll add some more product, let it sit. I let it sit for about an hour, and then I'll scrub it, you know, soak it and scrub it out again. And hopefully on the second round, it'll finish the job, but I think it's doing pretty well so far. I'm a little bit worried about just that little circle right there, because it's darker than everything else, but... um. Yeah, I'm scrubbing it quite hard, but it doesn't seem to be ruining the jersey. Um, so I'm gonna keep going at it. All right, so we're back. J-Mac the Fanatic. We're here to check out day two. Round two, fight of the process of removing a signature from a jersey here. This is a game-worn Mark Price jersey. 
and I'm going to reapply the same product. My trusty friend. <laughs> I'm going to let it sit again. I'm going to let it soak through. So I'm going to let it, again, I have the towel under right under here between the two layers of the jersey. I'm going to let it soak through, sink in, right? And then after that, I will um, scrub it out again. So I think it's about half done. Maybe a little bit better than that, but uh, hopefully the second round will do the trick. All right, I'll come back and show you guys. This is round two after scrubbing my ass off. I think I went from like 50% to 75% success. I think I'll probably try one more round before I consider any other method. Um, I'm gonna go at least one more round, but um, I think it's looking pretty faded. Uh, that's a good sign. Like I said before, the only thing that concerned me was maybe just one speck right there, the dark speck. But I feel pretty confident if I keep at it, you know, most of this will come completely or maybe 90% out. 90 to 95% is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna keep at it. Hopefully I'm right. So I really went at this thing and I don't seem to be damaging the jersey. So I kept kept going at it. This is how I did it, all right? A combination of this and this. But much, much harder. I can't show you because I only have one hand. But a combination of and so guys, uh, I actually took it in the shower with me so I could super soak it. <laughs> I got a very positive result. I put it in my hand And I scrubbed it. No, what I did was I put my hand underneath it. Okay, like this. And then I held it like so it was flat against my hand. Okay, like tight, right? With the water running over it, right? And then I scrubbed the shit out of it. And I got more progress. And the jersey, again, still not ruined. <laughs> uh, so that's good news. I'm almost there. Stay tuned to the finish. So we're back for round three. Round three. And for the final round, you can see it's almost gone here. I think I'm going to bring in a new trusty friend and see how this does. All right. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Uh, so I, as before, I'll come back and show you how it does. But you just wanna saturate it. Wanna put a healthy dose and let it soak in overnight. The longer the better for this, that you let it sit, I've, I've noticed. Um, I'm gonna put a shitload of it and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna wash it by hand with uh, laundry detergent and scrub it out like I did before. Uh, we'll see how this works. I think this will do the trick. If not, I may go back to the, the other product one more time because I definitely wanna keep going until I get it all out. So after two rounds of this shit, I went with this. I let that sit overnight. And then I, I washed out with this, just a standard uh, laundry detergent. I might have been better served going with a third round of this, not sure. Not sure if I just, just scrubbed too hard for too long or it was a combination of all these things that uh, eventually took a toll on the mesh. 
Uh, I think it was probably just scrubbing too hard. Unfortunately, again, the new mesh and the damaged mesh looks, again, it looks really bad close up, but it really doesn't look that bad. Uh, as you can see, I'm literally right up on it inches away. Three feet away from it, you can't even notice. It looks like the same, it looks like just a part of the mesh. It all blends in. So it's not terrible, but if I could do it, I wish I could do it over again, but I, I, I don't want to say that I regret it because I was pretty much able to get 95% of the signature out, which is a pretty big deal. I mean, I really would not, I did really did not want the signature on there. It would have bothered me a lot. So this, this does bother me less than the signature would have, but it came at a cost. So if you're trying to do this, I would just take it a little easier than I did with the scrubbing. And that's basically the conclusion uh, that I'm coming away with. So if you have any questions, let me know. And tune in for more videos, guys.